Caught on camera, a man stealing a catalytic converter from a Fashion Place Mall employee's car on Friday night. Fox 13 News reporter Chris Arnold spoke with the victim and his co-worker, whose car recorded the whole thing. This is a video from the Fashion Place Mall parking lot in Murray around 9.30 Friday night. It shows a man working to cut the catalytic converter off of Matthew Campbell's car. It gave Campbell quite the surprise when he finished work and came out to his car turned my car on and it sounded like I started like a tractor lawnmower. After calling his dad, he says they were able to put it all together that his catalytic converter was taken. I was just pretty like pretty upset, kind of wish like I would have come out when maybe they're doing it so I could scare him away. Luckily for Campbell, he was parked right next to his co-worker Rob Lapp. Lapp says he had seen a post the following day in a group chat from Campbell about the theft. He said he was parked next to a Tesla and lo and behold, it was a weird coincidence. It was Lapp's car, equipped with seven cameras in all, two on each side that caught the entire incident. Caught him walking up to the car, kind of scoping everything out. You could see that he had a drill kind of tucked up into his sleeve. Lap took Fox 13 News step by step through each video. And then he bent down, got underneath it, and, and ripped it out. Catalytic converter thefts have been on the rise in Utah over the past few years. According to data from the Utah Attorney General's office, the state has seen a 585% increase from 2018 through the end of last year. People go underneath the car, they cut it off, it takes them maybe seven minutes, and then they're gone, and they can make several hundred dollars fairly quickly. Leaving the car owner like Campbell with a much steeper price tag to fix it. To repair and everything with the part they have would be $3,000. Without his car for the time being, Campbell is hoping these videos will help catch the person responsible. If they catch him, that'd be great. Campbell tells me he did file a report with Murray City Police on Saturday. Now, after finding out that Lap had videos of the entire incident taking place, he says he sent those over to police the following day. In Murray, Chris Arnold, Fox 13 News, Utah.